everyone, I'm Jay-Z Victoria and today I'm going to magic to life a rainbow unicorn pride dress. Now I know what you're thinking, but Daisy, pride was in June. But friend, pride is always. Universal love is for every month. And besides, I really like rainbows and unicorns and pride. Now before we get started on the magic of this dress, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything I post here. I thought this time, instead of sewing the dress, I would do some unicorn magic to make it come to life. So let's see how that works. We're starting out with a finished corset here because I recently did a vlog where I made a very similar corset out of a different fabric. So I figured it would be a little repetitive to just show the same thing over again, but here you can see, you can see the inside a little bit, boning channels. All right, time to embellish this guy. And then here's the rainbow chiffon I've got for the gown portion. Ooh, rainbows. For the dress portion of this dress, I'm using chiffons in a rainbow of colors. Red, gold, green, blue, and purple. What? I thought you were supposed to throw your fabric at the camera and then it becomes a finished dress. I've watched these videos, but I threw mine at the camera and some of it got sewn together, but it's still in these really big pieces, two pieces actually. I guess we're going to have to try this again. it's in one piece now. That's an improvement. We're gonna need to try this again. Maybe if I say some magic words. Bibbidi bobbidi boo! Oh wow, thank goodness it worked that time. I was starting to get a little bit worried there for a second. Now that it's sewn into a dress, I can actually focus on embellishing the corset. nice to know that if I get a little lazy and don't want to finish the corset, or if I want to wear it without a corset at some point later, I can just have a nice little ribbon belt and looks pretty darn cute that way. I really like how this is looking. It's just so colorful. There's a lot of boning in here, steel boning of the flat and spiral yeah. varieties. This is made of a faux du peony silk, so it is polyester with that silk mimic look. And it laces in the back. Now with aglets at the end of the laces, this is something I've actually added since adding lacing ribbon to my shop. I'm very happy with this corset. I think it looks really cool, and it's going to get embellished though. These AB rhinestones are about to go on there, so it's not going to be plain white for that much longer. Maybe if I throw my corset at the camera, it'll come out finished too. It totally worked! This is so sparkly. 
I love it. This is looking really, really beautiful. I bet you if I call upon the magic fairies with some magic words, they'll put the rest of it together. At least I hope. Please fairies, I love you and I really want this gown to come together. Hocus Pocus Unicorniocus! Oh my gosh, it worked! Thank you magical fairies for putting this together. I'm really relieved because I didn't want to have to actually sew it and do all the work. Oh my gosh, why am I so ridiculous? Because <laughs> it's fun, that's why, because it's fun to be ridiculous. I used a lot of rhinestones to make this dress. The rhinestones are various sizes and they're all attached with E6000. The base dress for this look is actually made of all chiffon. It is a rainbow of colors. We've got red, gold, green, teal, and purple. These colors are across the front and the back of the dress. And there are slits in the front so you can kind of peek your leg out if you want to. The corset is an underbust, it is steel boned, and it is fully supportive. It's made of a faux dupioni silk, so it's actually polyester dupioni. It's edged in embellished trims and decorated in rhinestones. Each rhinestone is hand applied using E6000, and I used three different sizes in this particular design. The necklace, or neck piece, we may say, is made of metal filigrees with, again, guess what, rhinestones hand applied to it. And there are chains that go from the front to the back, so they drape very nicely over the arms. Finally, the head piece is a unicorn, and this is decorated in flowers and some rhinestones to give it a little bit more shine. Here is Kayla being an absolutely fantastic rainbow unicorn princess. Thank you so much for watching this magical rainbow unicorn dream come to life with me. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything I post here. If you like this video, also leave a thumbs up and a comment. That really helps me in the YouTube algorithm. You can also find me on social media. I'm Daisy Victoria everywhere. 
And you can help support me on Patreon, which helps to make more videos and more amazing outfits. And I give back to you with some extra behind the scenes tips and tricks. You can also visit my website at daisyvictoria.com. And I look forward to seeing you again for so many more magical adventures. Ooh.